Cheerio guys, Logan here, and thank you so much for ordering my British breakfast box from Matt Apron. So, I've chosen this box because the British breakfast is my favorite breakfast in the whole wide world. It's the most delicious, and it's very hard to source every ingredient for it. If you're missing one ingredient, it's not going to be the same. But I've done all that work for you, so let's get started. The first step in enjoying your British breakfast is to make your cup of tea. Now here I've selected a really nice British uh, tea here, Builders, it's my favorite. But this tea is very particular. You have to eat, drink it with um, sugar and milk if you really want the true experience. It's just not as good if you don't do it that way. So, one tea bag, going in. Just gonna pour my water. And pour a little bit more. There we go. Now the box says to whistle a tune, but I'm not a very good whistler. Um, so uh, we're just going to give it a minute, give it a little bit of a stir, and I'm going to add my sugar. It's very important that you make your cup of tea first because you can't get started in the morning without it. Um, so I'm just going to add some sugar. Boom. Give it a little bit of a stir. Let it brew a bit. This is what you're supposed to whistle to. Just, just kind of imagine. It, you know? All right. So now we're going to add in our milk, and we want to try to get it to where it's just milky, but not too milky. British tea requires a very distinct balance of sugar, milk, and robust tea flavor. And if you don't have that balance just right, it's not going to be a perfect cup of tea. And there's a very big art to it, so don't expect to get it right, but really strive to get it um, as close to perfect as you can. So now we have our cup of tea. Mmm, great. Now we're ready to go. Now I have my pan over here getting hot, and it's time to talk about our ingredients that we're going to be using in this pan. This is going to be a three pan operation, so. Um, not the best for me with my one little induction burner, but we're going to make it happen. So you're going to want to take your breakfast sausages. Now, typically you'd be using a blood sausage here, but I don't much care for the blood sausage. So I'm just using regular breakfast sausage because I like it a lot more. Now, while those are cooking up, we're going to take our mushrooms here. And we're just going to clean these up a little bit. I'm going to turn up our heat. And so you're just going to want to take your mushroom. These are nice little mushrooms. And you're going to want to chop off the ends. Um, just try to clean them up a little bit. Um, some other things, try to make them look all proper. There we go. So just take a little bit off the ends. And these mushrooms are good to go. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of butter. Um, so we're just going to take this, add the butter, right in the pan. So, one of the reasons why I haven't added my mushrooms yet is because my sausages are going to take a little while to cook, and I want to make sure that I don't drop my mushrooms too soon and have them get to be the wrong texture. That's another thing about the British breakfast, is you have to be very particular about your textures, otherwise it won't be perfect. So, that means that you have to be very particular about your timings as well. You know, if your mushrooms get overcooked, they'll get soggy, they'll break down, and, well, it won't be good. So, that's why I'm holding off on adding them. Now some of my other ingredients I'm going to be adding to this pan a little bit later are these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Now I'm actually going to cut these in half because they are a little bit big and I'm going to sear them off in the same pan over here because this could be a nice searing pan. So we're going to deal with these two heirloom tomatoes. And then we're also going to deal with this um, special kind of bacon that I have here. This is actually a rasher and um, it's typically Irish and you can see it's smoked pork loin, bacon-y thing, really delicious, and you have to have it, normal bacon won't work, you have to have a special rasher, um, because, you know, the British have to be special. So, so 
just going to give these a little bit longer in the pan. And then we can add in our other ingredients. Alright guys, so our sausages are just about ready for the rest of the ingredients to be added. So we're just going to take our mushrooms, I'm just going to toss them in there. Now that our mushrooms are in there and they've blistered a little bit, we're going to prep out our tomatoes here. Now you're going to want to take out the stems. Um, they may be pretty, but uh, you don't want to eat them. They're pretty hard. So you just kind of want to grab them, kind of remove them. And just kind of twist, boom. Once again, with everything in the British breakfast, it has to be very nice and proper. So make sure that you line it up, get a nice slice, boom. Beautiful slice on the tomato. And we're just going to slap that right in there. And it's going to sear up and warm all the way through. That's one of the things about this, is you want to make sure that your tomatoes and mushrooms get warm all the way through and get a nice sear. So we're going to cut our other one in half. Boom. Beautiful heirloom tomatoes. And then we're also going to add in our rashers from over here. Our smoked pork loin. And they're just going to go right in. And I'm doing this all in the one pan because uh, well, I've got one burner. And also because um, they're all experiencing the same kind of heat, which is a searing. So since they're all being seared, you know, I don't really have to worry too much. Um, mm, smell that. Now you're going to get some really nice smoky notes from the rashers. You're going to get some really nice fresh notes from the tomatoes and the mushrooms. And of course the sausages, which are looking great. There we go. It's gonna give it a minute. It's gonna cook up really nice. And um, then we can move on to the next step soon. All right, so it's just about done. Uh, this is the kind of consistency that I'm looking for. Uh, you could blister your tomatoes a little bit more, but you just want them warm all the way through. And maybe just a nice little bit of a sear on the one side. Um, our sausages look done. Our rashers are nice and curly. And our mushrooms look like they've soaked up a lot of delicious flavor. So we're actually going to take this whole pan and we're going to slide it under for when we get to the plating. And the next step is to deal with beans. So we've got a little bean pan pot here. Uh, let me just turn it back on. And so what I have for you today is I have you a can of Heinz beans. These are the British beans, British breakfast beans. They have a very specific flavor. They're not quite baked beans. They're a little bit more tomatoey. They're very specific. And in a British breakfast, without the beans, I mean, is it even a breakfast? Like, why? So, I'm just gonna take this, open it right up. There we go. You can see they're kind of a little bit red. Hmm. Tastes great. I love the taste of these beans. They're just phenomenal. And you're just gonna wanna add the whole can into the bean pot. Now, of course, you would do, be doing this at the same time as your other cooks. Um, if you had more than one burner, hopefully you do. <laughs> and you're not doing this whole 25 pan nonsense. So, I'm just going to get out a whole little spoon, give these a stir. Um, you know, you just want to heat these up, make sure that they're warm all the way through. Just soften them up a little bit, but that's pretty much all there is to the beans. They're very important in the whole composition of the breakfast because they add um, this kind of sauce-like element and uh, this certain British flavor and British charm to the whole breakfast. So you just want them warm. Uh, you can cook them a little bit, add some of your own seasonings if you want, but I'm going to say that they are done. All right, so now that I have my other pan on, it's time to talk about cooking eggs. Now, actually, we'll pick these up, put them over. Eggs are the quintessential chef challenge, the chef test. Um, that's because they're cheap, and if you get a bad chef, you can't cook a good egg, I mean, why is he even in the kitchen? So they're the, the quintessential chef test, and you know, you can break a lot of them. They're very um, easy to use, and very inexpensive, so they're used as a big training thing. So, we're gonna take these, we're gonna get out our butter, 
our pan heated up. Now, if you want to scramble them, you can. If you want to, you know, cook them however you please, you can. But I'm just going to show you how I like to cook them. So we're going to start with a little bit of butter here, just a little bit. Now, this butter is to make sure that our eggs have movement in the pan and to make sure that, you know, everything goes pretty well. I'm saving some more butter. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. That's not enough butter. It's very important that you have the right amount of butter because too much butter in the eggs will, you know, fry poorly and not enough butter and, you know, will stick and will do weird things and it won't be delicious. So, there we go. Now we're going to take my egg here and just going to crack it right here. Boom. Now, just going to give it a minute to cook. One of the things, I'm also going to add in some more butter here. It's very important that you have enough butter in your pan for cooking the egg. So you can see I've got a really nice looking sunny side up egg right now, but it isn't perfectly cooked because it's still got this really, the second layer of white. So what you want to do is you want to try to baste that second layer of white. And that's why you want to add in a lot of butter. So I'm just going to add in the rest of my pat of butter. And you just want to take your butter and you just want to pour it right over that hard white. Now that hot butter is really, really hot. So it will actually cook some of that white and will leave the yolk relatively runny, which is one of the secrets to sunny side up eggs. see it's crisp up. You want to make sure that it's really nice and not too runny. I prefer not too much runny white but I do like a runny yolk so I tend to go a little bit over what a rather British standard would be. I also like a little bit of brown crispiness around the edges so uh, there we go. All right so there we go we've plated up our British breakfast. Now the final step is of course to add it hit it with a little bit of seasoning so you're gonna want a little bit of salt on your egg and over just the entire dish. And a little bit of pepper. And just gonna hit it with a little bit of final seasoning. And there you have it. There's your delicious British breakfast, complete with the beans, the egg, the rashers, the sausage, the tomato, and the mushrooms. Also, we have the toast over here and the cup of tea. So I really hope that you enjoyed this Matt Apron box. I really hope that you enjoyed cooking this British breakfast with me. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.